Hey fit friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Holly of Renewal Fitness Coaching and in this video I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on Earthrunners Earthing Sandals because these can actually help to improve your health and improve the way you move. I'm going to cover a little bit about the benefits of grounding and what it is, some of the unique features of earth runners, and then I will also go into detail about the three different types of their sandals, what's different about each one, and how to pick the best one for you. So let's start by talking about grounding, aka earthing. These are two terms meaning the same thing, they're interchangeable. So grounding is basically when you make direct contact between your skin and the earth. So the cells in our body, as well as the planet, are electrically charged. And so when they connect, our bodies can reap a lot of health benefits, such as an improved immune response, reduced inflammation, reduced pain, improved wound repair, and even helping to resynchronize circadian rhythms, such as when you travel between time zones, it can help with things like jet lag. Some typical ways to get grounded are things like swimming in a lake or an ocean, walking barefoot along a dirt trail or through a creek or through the grass, lying down on the grass, walking through the sand, laying on the beach. So if you happen to live in the country, this is pretty easy for you. But if you're like me and you live in the city or the suburbs, it can be pretty challenging to get grounded because we have pavement, we have concrete everywhere. There's not a lot of access to clean grass or streams or trails. And that's where earth runners come in. One of the major benefits of earth runners is that they allow you to get grounded anywhere you go. So if you're going out for a walk, you're running errands, even if you're sitting in your house, you can reap the benefits while protecting your feet. So the way this works is they have these copper plugs on the bottom of the shoe. Additionally, in the shoe lace, they have stainless steel. And so these metal components allow you to directly connect to the earth and get grounded. Another big benefit of these shoes is their minimalist design. As you can see, there's no arch support, there's zero drop, there's no major cushioning. These are designed to bring you as close to a barefoot walking or running style as possible, really just protecting your feet from the ground. The benefit of this is that when, when we walk this way, this is natural and this is how muscles in our feet and our ankles get strengthened and it can even reduce biomechanical issues that we get in our feet, our knees, our hips, our low back from a lot of the modern shoes that we wear. Shoes like flip-flops, when you walk in those, your toes have to grip every time you take a step to keep the sandals on your shoes. And these can really impact the front of your leg and cause problems as well as just being unsafe to walk in a lot of times. Generally, these unnatural ways of walking can lead to problems like flat feet, inflammation, plantar fasciitis, shin splints, knee, back, and hip pain. Another cool thing about these shoes is they're really designed for active wear. These are not just your typical wear to the store kind of shoes. These are things that you can do long walks in, you can even go hiking in. Some people even run in these, even run marathons in these. All right, I've come inside. So now we're gonna talk about the three different types of Earthrunner sandals. Earthrunners come in two main styles, lifestyle and adventure sandals. The only difference between these two is the laces. Now within those two categories, there are three different styles of sandals that you can get. There's elemental, circadian, and alpha. Let's start with the elementals. These are the thinnest style that Earth Runners offers. These have an eight millimeter Vibram sole and 1.5 millimeter tread on the bottom. So it gives you a little bit of grip. And I think this footbed is the most comfortable of the three. However, because of the thin style, this one can get a little bit tiring for my feet. So although I've seen some people say that this is like their daily go-to sandal, for me, I love this more for like a short 20, 30 minute walk or running errands. It's not something I would wear as much for really long walks or hikes or that type of thing, just because it feels like you're pretty much walking barefoot with just a little bit of cushion between you and the ground. So you do feel that impact just a little bit more. And I would say these require the most getting used to. They take a little bit more transitioning than the others that have just a little bit more cushion. They can go in water, they're waterproof and they will dry pretty quickly, but they can be a little bit more slippery because there's really no traction on this footbed. So just be aware of that if you wear them around water. 
As you can see, it's pretty flexible. I can roll this whole thing up so it moves really easily with your feet. And these ones come with two different lace options. So you can get the classic or the ergonomic, and I will talk a little bit more about these later. These shoes have the ergonomic laces, and this is the Canyon Clay color. I also personally think that these are the most versatile in terms of style. Great for any outdoor stuff, of course, but these also transition well to just like a casual dress or shorts or, or jeans or whatever outfit you would normally wear sandals with. All right, the next style is the Circadian. They're just a little bit thicker than the Elementals, so they have a nine millimeter Vibram sole with this canvas footbed. They also have the same tread on the bottom as the Elementals. That slight bit of extra thickness feels more cushioned and comfortable to me, so this is a great one for daily wear, in my opinion. So these ones have what they call the Earth Grip cotton canvas footbed. So this offers a little bit of grip and traction. So unlike the other ones that I said are a little bit slippery, these ones are great if you're with like in an environment with some water, they're not gonna slip as much. They offer a little bit more traction. The only thing I would say in my experience is sometimes this footbed actually can kind of bother my feet if I wear them for a really long time and feel like a little bit of sensitivity from walking on this because it is a little bit of a coarse material. But because of this, it does make it a lot sturdier and gives you better traction for things like hiking or running. These ones are a little bit less flexible than the Elementals. As you can see, they don't roll up quite as tight, but they are still pretty flexible and move quite well with your feet. And these ones also come with either the ergonomic or the classic laces. These ones are the classic lace. So these are a little bit thicker, a little bit more coarse. And our last one is the Alpha Sandals. These ones have a 12 millimeter Vibram sole with that same canvas footbed. And then they have a different tread that makes them a little bit better for your more adventure type of wear. So you're hiking and you're running. These are also less flexible than the other shoes. So as you can see, they don't quite bend and roll as much. They definitely are a more sturdy, more supportive type of style. And they are, they definitely, to me, feel much more cushioned. In my opinion, I think these are the most comfortable. I've read that other people do not like these as their daily wear, but I love them. I think they're super comfortable. For that reason, I also think these are really good for anyone who might be transitioning to minimalist footwear. And in terms of versatility with what you're wearing, maybe not everyone cares about wearing these with different type of outfits, but that was something I was researching when I was looking these up. These to me, they are a bit thicker, and so they don't quite go with as many types of outfits, harder to wear um, with dresses or certain styles. But um, I have found these to look pretty cute with some more like casual beachy type of wear. So now we're gonna move on to talking about how Earthrunners fit. But before we do, if this is helping you and you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button right now. Really helps me out, it's a great support. These shoes actually have a pretty wide footbed. It really allows your feet to, your toes to splay out, be very comfortable. It gives you lots of room so you're not squished in. Mine have a little bit of extra space in the front and on the sides because I do have narrow feet. So that's something you would wanna keep in mind when you're deciding your shoe. About a half size up or down is gonna change how much room you have around your toes and around the side of your foot. Luckily, their website does have a downloadable sizing guide that you can use to figure out the best fit for you. Now we're gonna talk about the laces and how to make these shoes fit you in a very customizable way. But before I do that, because it's part of this, I wanted to make a note about breaking in the shoes. I've read a lot of reviews on the website that a lot of people have had trouble kind of getting used to these shoes. So at first they weren't so comfortable, but after breaking them in, they love the shoes. My experience is actually quite different. I didn't feel like I had to break any of these shoes in. All of them were comfortable from the get-go. Now, part of getting just the right fit with these sandals is the lacing system. And what's cool about it is these are an infinity lace, meaning it's just one long strap that's looped throughout. And so it starts with this copper plug and then it goes through a variety of holes. So you basically just pull through one of the areas and then pull it up somewhere else. There is a video on this that Earthrunners made that's super helpful, so I will link that here for your reference to understand how to do this, but it's really pretty simple and it allows you to get a really good solid fit with these laces. There are three types of laces that you can get with these shoes, which I've already mentioned throughout. So there's the ergonomic laces. These are thinner and they're definitely a softer material. 
I really like these ones and these ones you can get on any of the lifestyle shoes. Then there's the classic laces. These are a little bit thicker, a little bit more of a rough material or a little bit more rugged, but in my opinion, they're still very comfortable. And then the adventure sandals. And again, the only difference between the lifestyle and the adventure is the laces. So these are performance laces and these are just even thicker and a little bit sturdier style of a lace. They're not as soft as the other ones. And I was worried these would be uncomfortable but honestly, I haven't noticed a drastic difference between the three. So are Earthrunners worth it? Is the quality that good? The price tag for these sandals is a little bit higher than your average sandal. They run from about $73 to around $93, depending on the style of shoe and the laces that you get. But the quality of these shoes is really good. In my opinion, yes, I think they're worth it because of a few different reasons, which I mostly mentioned at the beginning. These are grounding shoes. So these aren't just typical shoes. These are built to give you health benefits from the grounding. And so that's a really unique feature that you're not gonna get from any other shoes. And they're very sturdy, very durable, very long lasting. My first pair of shoes I got over five years ago, these ones, and they still, you know, you can tell they're a little bit worn, um, but as you see on the bottom, a little bit of wear right here, a little bit of wear here, but a lot of the tread is still there. The laces are still in good shape. The copper plug is still in good shape. Now I don't wear these every day and I don't take them through mud and crazy hikes and runs. I'm not doing miles and miles in these, but for just kind of your average wear, you know, a few times a week, these have lasted really well and I have taken them on some long walks. I've taken them on various trips. They've gone through quite a bit um, and they've held up quite well. And you can wash these too. So even if they get dirty, you just take a good scrubber to them, take them in the shower, rinse them down, get off the dirt. That's a really good way to help maintain them. I've found that these hold up incredibly well. I've never had to replace the laces or the copper plug, but know that if they do wear out, you can just swap out new laces. They have laces for sale on the website by themselves that you can just swap out if your shoe is still good but your laces are getting worn out. So I anticipate still having all of my sandals for many more years to come without any problems. And so in my opinion, I think with all the benefits that they offer and the comfort and the versatility that these are worth the price tag. Now I can help you a little bit with that price tag with a discount code. So I have a 10% off code, which is renewal 10. So if you use that at checkout and I will put the link in the description as well. So you can just click that link to get you there and you can use that discount at checkout to get 10% off your order, which really helps. So just some final thoughts to help you decide which shoe is right for you. If you want, a shoe for a lot of adventures. You're planning on being outside and hiking and running around everywhere. You want a really active, sturdy shoe, then I would probably go with the Alphas. If you want just kind of versatile for any type of activity, then I would probably go with the Elementals, especially if you really love the barefoot style and you want something very thin and simple. However, I think for the average person, um, it, where you maybe want like a little bit of that activity. You want to be able to hike in them or take long walks in them or take them through the water. Um, but you also just want to be able to wear them daily and have a lot of comfort. I would say maybe the circadians are your best bet because they're kind of a good blend between the other two. So I hope that, I hope that that helps make your decision a little bit easier. And again, whenever you're ready to purchase, you can use my code renewal10 at checkout. And if you have any other questions about these sandals, I am more than happy to answer questions. So you can send me a message at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com, or you can just leave a comment down below and I will respond to it as soon as I see it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please go ahead and hit the like button and share it with anyone else who may be interested. Until the next video, stay healthy and blessings on your adventures.